Hello, hello, hello. It's Christine Tahina talking to you. Where else? Well, I'm in my sweetie's bedroom, so to speak. It's kind of like his office here in New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. It's Christine Trainer here. It is January 17th, day 386 of my everyday, day 386 of my everyday journey. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Year two of my everyday journey. Welcome, guys. So glad to have you here today. Um, I want to say thank you to my few new subscribers that decided to come by and say hey. And I hope you enjoy uh, my YouTube channel. It's kind of different. It's unusual. It's not like a lot of others. I don't know if they are. Um, I want to talk about something that sort of still wanes on me. But I want to first, first want to give you a true explanation. The reason why I decided to keep continuing, even though it's because it's day 386 of my everyday journey. Right, guys? And why do I? I could have just stopped it because I have hardly anybody checking out my everyday journeys, right? I could stop and not do any more. It's like talking to the air, right? But you know what? I'm not going to stop it. I'm going to keep going and going and going until I can't go anymore. <laughs> because I love my everyday journeys. Because they, I share who I am every day. And I tell you now, guys, it, I'm in a little bit of fear because... Um, and I tell you why I have a lot of fear right now. Um, I'm going to first of all, we're going to talk about what fear means. <laughs> what is the true meaning of fear, so to speak? Well, in this instance, it says a distressing emotion aroused by impending danger, evil, pain, whether the threat is real or imagined, the feeling or condition of being afraid, a specific instance or propensity for such a feeling, an abnormal fear of heights. Uh, that's one thing it could be, or reverential awe or especially toward God, the fear of God. So I have fear right now um, that's hitting me really hard, guys. It's the fear of not becoming successful. So it is hitting me hard, guys. Um, I think it means financial success necessarily. Um, I want to be a success on YouTube. I, I, I really want to do it. Um, for some reason, it's it's inside me. If a strong belief and a whoa, when I started on online uh, uh, about 17 months ago, that was a different kind of part of my journey, but it was still being online, right? Is to learn and grow and understand how to become successful online, whether financial or otherwise. Now, I must say, I'm so pleased and proud that my my algorithm is getting much better at Facebook. And I'm touching wood now. I'm very proud, pleased about that because I'm being careful. So the uh, Facebook gods are going to me again so I'm being careful and I'm understanding and being giving more value um, and I'm also reaching out more to LinkedIn and to other platforms I'm on as well I want to become uh, I want to get myself out there and I know people are not going to see me until I get myself out there more right and I know I'm on a, a rather unusual pers persona because my I give value of my life my life is my value of what I'm learning, what I've learned this past 17 months on my online marketing, online social media uh, journey so far. Um, I share it whenever I can, guys. Um, I started YouTube, um, I guess you'd say, about 15 months ago, like a few months after. Well, wait a minute. No, 14 months ago. Uh, quite, a, quite a ways after I did my, quite a ways after I, uh, I started online because a wonderful coach of mine, I, or no, I still say coach, and, and one of my first mentors, Mr. Mark Lalon, suggested I start a YouTube channel and see if I can go from there. I think he probably said give quite a bit of value, but I guess he probably was very, it was probably very unusual to me that my I was doing it a different way. And I'm still learning, learning, growing, understanding the best way to give value on a daily basis. And I, I like to motivate. I'm actually one who loves to motivate and share my thoughts so people can learn from my um, foibles or my uh, my mistakes I'm making. So they don't, they they'll learn as well. And fear is a part of it. Fear is, will I be able to last on YouTube? And will anybody check out more of what I'm saying? Um, and my personality is great. I know that. It's just it's it's an addition. It's a different kind of. YouTube channel, I, I think mine is not the same as other ones as well. And I think other ones as well. I'm, I'm not a real trending YouTube channel. It's basically my thoughts. Like now I'm doing my daily thoughts that I do on Facebook. I'm putting them on YouTube as well, just in case somebody didn't quite check it out. I'm also doing, um, and I'm also tweaking it to get it more out there with a bit more intro uh, videos and to so people will see what I'm talking about, which I think 
is quite good and I tweak it on a little uh, video app I have to try to make it better um, I know I should be doing more other things but uh, it's I don't have the strength to really go and really get my videos really in tune so I basically my videos are more raw and real and that's the way I decided to, to do it for my uh, everyday journeys I mean I tweak it a little bit guys I have a little fun where I do a little bit of an intro I, I actually did a better video intro uh, more like a uh, now I changed it up a little bit and so I have like a couple ways I can do it so I'm figuring out which way will be the best and most popular and that's what I'm doing right now I'm playing around with my YouTube channel as well trying to figure out what's the best way to do it and I'm sort of sharing my YouTube channel as much as I can further because I would like to hit a hundred at least a hundred subscribers by my birthday and so far I got 52 so I still got another 48 to go and my birthday is in March 26 so guys if you're watching this and you like what you see give me a thumbs up plus um, send me out wherever you can I would love to have more subscribers um, I like to have more because I'd like to earn some money and but you have to in order to earn money on YouTube you got to have at least a thousand subscribers and at least 4,000 video views or something and I only have like about 2,600 video views and maybe 52 people so I still got a long way to go um I, I am very consistent you know some days of course my health isn't very good or I get really triple busy so I don't get to do my videos but I think I'm not doing too bad I've gotten over 500 variety of different videos on my YouTube channel here um I share as much as I can whenever I can because I really enjoy it um my little kitty cat, she's chilling out on my my sweetie's uh, cabinet there. <laughs> but the fear has set in. The fear set in is, will I be able to continue doing YouTube? Will I be able to become successful? And so I've got too many, will I, will I, will I again? And I have to get that out of my head. It's scary, guys. I swear to God, when you get that fear set into your head, nothing seems to work out because you're not letting it, you're letting the fear stop you from getting all the good stuff back in here. So I've been literally doing a lot more affirmations and calming myself down and speaking to people and sharing my thoughts whenever I can. That's why I started a Daily Thoughts on Facebook page, which I share it all here on YouTube. That's why I decided to tweak and up, update my YouTube a bit more. That's why I decided to really share my everyday journeys on a daily basis as much as I can because I am in count and now I'm going to be encountering some medical appointments and nearing a variety of different a couple of surgeries I might be doing in the next six months so I won't be able to be on my YouTube as much so I thought I'd do as much as I can share as much as I can give as much value because I know that sharing of your story is good because people can learn sharing how you can give motivation is a good thing as well so if you do your youtube channel guys motivation is a one is a good trending thought as well as sharing story stitching really sharing your life and how things are working for you and i, I still say you know that fear can set in so bad i'm going to show you there's a couple of quotes here that's helping me i like to read quotes like there's another friend i think a friend of mine on on LinkedIn who loves to read wonderful funny quotes that helps you get through the day because they're very inspirational and they help so you know what that's awesome uh, I think that's beautiful and I I really guys I I really go on to my Google 24 7 to find out some wonderful things I can say and I think my thing is just taking quotes and interpreting them and speaking about them because they can really help you. Um, this is my thinking. Me sound a little weird, but but fear makes strangers of people who would be friends. Or if you look into your own heart and you find nothing wrong there, what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? That's a good one. Or do not be afraid. Our fate cannot be taken from us. It is a gift. So I I read these quotes and they start to help me. Or fear means has has fear or the acronym for fear. It can mean forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. And I choose to face everything and rise. Yes, my fear is real and bad, but I face 
as much as I can and I rise to the occasion. I rise past the struggles that are weighing on me every day because I find it's the social media marketing, social media world struggles that I'm dealing with right now plus my health. It's two, twofold. Being brave isn't the absence of fear. Being brave is having that fear but finding a way through it. So I'm learning to find a way through my fear right now. That I really want to step up and get my YouTube going really well. And I feel that if you have something that's scaring the heck out of you, which is now, that means something good is going to happen to the horizon. And I really wanted to share this everyday journey with you today because I'm suffering bad. And I'm, I'm, I'm taking my quotes and my affirmations, positive ones that I have in my head, and I'm doing them every day. On, on a, I'll go on my... Uh, become a bike while I'm exercising and I'll keep reciting my my affirmations. I'll speak to somebody, uh, more accountability partners, like I do my five day a week motivational class and I'll sit there and listen and understand what they're saying. And it helps me take the fear away because right now the fear is I will not be successful. And it keeps sitting in my head and I'm trying to get that out of my head because that's stopping me from doing more, much better than my life that I want. So don't let your fear stop you. Because once your fear is there and it's real, it will stunt you. It will stunt your growth of how you want to become successful. If you need to have an accountability partner to help you with your fears, to share with you, be surround yourself with people with positive, positive attitude uh, that want to become successful. And they want you to be successful too. That's the best way to help ease your fear too, guys. So I really wanted to get this. It's a little longer everyday journey because I want to talk about it today. I wanted to share with you. The meaning of fear and how what is what's going on with me and i also want to share with you some of the quotes that have helped me uh, but i like the acronym for fear either it's forget everything and run and that's not me or it's face everything and rise and that's my choice number two face everything and rise the fears we don't face become our limits i am facing these fears head on and i'm Telling my telling me these fears of no more. I mean, it's it's scary. Our fear is is an I is an idea crippling experience, crushing success, stalling inhibitors, inflicting only by yourself. Yeah, you can hit put the fear in your mind because you feel that you're unworthy, and that's one of my issues I'm having, guys. I feel like I'm unworthy to really become successful. So why am I working hard? Because I'm trying, I'm doing my, I'm doing my all darn darndest and I'm becoming, I'm being, I'm consistent with my everyday journeys. I'm consistent with right now. Well, for the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm being consistent with my um, thoughts for the, my daily thoughts, which I share here also on YouTube. And I'm working really hard on, on my LinkedIn and my Facebook and my other platforms to share people who I am and share my ideas. Um, I'm doing my best to go within my niche, but I also share other things of motivation and thoughts that will help others become more su become successful. And that's my goal as well. That's my dream. That's, that's not only my dream. I think it's just inside me. It's true, strong belief that if I share my thoughts and my motivation to others, they'll become successful too. And it'll help ease the issues and frustrations they have for themselves. So I think fear is a big part of my, my life right now. And it, I wish I want I want it to go away. It's a thinking will not overcome fear, but action will. So I'm taking action every day on a daily basis to get that fear out of my head. And I think once that fear is gone, it's going to really help me become more successful. So guys, whatever you could do to take the fear away, I suggest do it. Either through motivation, especially affirmations, they do help. Um, through uh, accountability partner to help you get through the, the harsh times that you feel you can't make it. Um, be a part of my beautiful community of people that can help motivate you and guide you. Um, meditation is good to soothe and calm your mind and just wake up with true gratitude every day, which I do. I wake up with gratitude. I do my affirmations. Um, plenty of rest. If you get a good night's rest that and you wake up refreshed, that helps your mind be strong and fit as well. So there's so many ways you could do it, guys. And I wanted to really share this with you today on my everyday journey since I'm struggling with it and I'm I'm learning to deal with it every single day. So I hope you enjoy this, guys. Please give me a thumb up. I don't mind a critique. If your person wants to critique, critique about my video or if they enjoyed it, let me know. I'm here for you, my dear friends. 
And anybody who has to share something with me, leave me a comment. I would really so appreciate it. But I want to always say every single day, yes, make today a great day in your everyday journey because each one of us are on a journey of excellence, which is part of my beautiful motivational class is what it's called. And our journey of excellence will help us each day of our life in every way to continue on to become successful in all we do in our life. So in that said in mind, have a beautiful evening after day, afternoon, wherever you may be, my lovely friends. And I'll see you tomorrow. On what day will I see you tomorrow? I think tomorrow will be day 380. Tomorrow will be day 387 because today is day 386. I'm really pleased I made it so far to 386 days of everyday journey. So I'm still being consistent. And I'm sharing this with you all, my lovely friends. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.